Welcome, my name is John Lucania, and I'm going to take you through our AppDynamics integration. AppDynamics will provide you a server-side view of all your web application monitors running within AlertSight. The way to set up the integration is to go to the settings section of the interface right here, choose integrations, in the integration dashboard select the AppDynamics tile, connection settings, We support the on-premise locally hosted version of AppDynamics in addition to the SaaS version we're using here for our demo. Point to the controller, your account, username and password. And the next thing you want to do is determine which monitors do you want to use or capture the server side view as presented by AppDynamics. In this example here, we're already collecting data for Lucerna Bank. We could also collect data for this monitor if we so choose. The next step is to take a look at how this information is presented in the alert site platform. So let's do that by looking at the availability tab. When we think about synthetic monitoring, it's about monitoring externally from a third party ongoing continuously into the night based off a consistent schedule, in this case every five minutes, across different geographies as represented by the tile here below provide that external view, that browser-based view. So let's drill into one of the individual test runs. We're now looking at the individual run, the one we selected from the scatter plot for just Shanghai. And we could see the entire response time is a little under 20 seconds. But there's more to that story. There are the individual network time and light connect time and first byte, which is taking 10.4 seconds. And there is the browser-based timing, it's like DOM load, page load, exceeding 27 seconds. We're also going to capture all the individual timings associated with each part of the journey from logging in to viewing a cash transaction. Since we're using a browser-based monitoring agent to render and navigate the page, we capture all the elements that comprise the user experience as represented in the browser. As we drill into the waterfall chart here, not only are we going to see the base HTML, but we're also going to see every cascading style sheet, every image, every JavaScript. Web applications today rely on various services to deliver and host this content that may not reside all on your servers. Together, a combination of app servers, web servers, web services, CDNs, and cloud vendors will pull this information all together. In this waterfall, the AppDynamics logo resides next to any resources that leverages the app server where you have AppDynamics instrumentation, basically your app servers. Static content typically is served via the web server, so the instrumentation doesn't have that visibility from AppDynamics. Let's now take a peek behind the curtain and take a look at the server side view of this request made by the browser. And we do that by clicking the AppDynamics logo. Once we click the logo, it will be logged in and pointed to the trace stack associated with the request made by the browser as identified in, from the synthetic side as slow. For example, the JSP service 132 call is dependent on a few calls below it nested together in this view. The entire call for 132 takes a little over four seconds. Individually, this call service 132 only needs about a second to complete its job, but it needs to leverage this thread that's taking three seconds. This would be your focal point to resolve performance issues. The combination of AlertSight's browser-based synthetic monitoring with AppDynamics completes the view into a user journey from the front all the way to the back in the app server. AlertSight providing the consistent scheduled traffic from an external vantage point and AppDynamics, the server-side view of that request. Thanks for spending some time with me today.